All right, Chris Groff here from Kruger School of Applied Technologies. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you guys another universal concept. Uh, basically, this is the fling assignment or fling uh, project that we worked on. I'm going to show you how to add in a little energy canvas that will add basically a little bar. So like as you collect your pickup, it will add to this, okay? And then when we get to a certain amount, it'll bring up a win label. So on your fling, you want to open that up. You want to add in a canvas from drawing and animation. Rename it Energy Canvas. And then on the properties, you can pick a paint color. You want to adjust the width to 200 pixels and the height to 10 pixels. And that'll be the thickness of the bar. Also, you want to add in a label below it that says you win. And we'll go ahead and we'll hide that label. I'm going to run through the blocks on how to do this. First thing we need to do is go to variable. And we're going to set up a variable called energy. And we're going to give this variable a value of 200. And if you just left click on your screen and type in 200, it should give you that block to fill it in. Okay. Underneath it, we're going to create our first procedure. And this procedure is going to be called draw energy line. And we're going to do something called putting in the input. So we're going to, you want to left click on the blue square and drag two inputs in. And we're going to rename the inputs. The first one will be named color and the second one will be named length. And with this procedure we want the canvas paint color to get this color. So uh, where we put energy canvas, you want to go there and you want to go to dot paint color. So we're going to set the paint color to the color here. And we're going to set the draw line. So we'll go back to your to the energy canvas that we put in. And it's call energy canvas draw line. And for the length, we're setting the length to the x2. The rest of the values will be at 0. So you want to give it, if you just type 0, you can duplicate those blocks and plug them in. Now scroll down. We're going to create another procedure and this will display the actual energy. So we're going to name this one display energy. And you're going to go back to procedures and you want to get the call draw energy line and you want to duplicate it. We're going to have two So this top color, we're going to make it white. So under colors, we'll get the white color. And then the length is going to be equal to the canvas width. So the energy canvas dot width. The second color, we're going to set it to red. And the length is going to be equal to the variable energy up here. Okay, so that should be set at 200. And then after we have that, our last one, we're going to create another procedure. And we're going to name it update, update good guy. This is the good guy's energy. So as he's collecting the pickup items, his energy should be going up. So we want to set the global energy. So we're going to go, I'll bring this variable down so I can do them at the same time. And actually, I'm going to adjust this. We want to, let's put it at, at 20. We're going to set global energy. And we'll use the plus sign. So set global energy global energy. It'll be global energy. And then we're going to add 20 every time he picks up an item. 
and underneath it we want to call our display and energy so that'll call the display energy procedure which will show the lines and we also want to do a test so we can make our game win so we'll go to control if then and we'll get the global energy so if our global energy is at a certain value let's say since we have I have two pickup items I'm gonna set it to 60 so when the global energy gets to 60 it's going to display the uh, the win label so we're gonna set the win label visibility and I'll just type in true it'll bring up our win label and I could also make it do stuff like freeze the other icons or make them invisible but I'm not gonna do that um, so once we have that all those laid out what we need to do is call the other procedures to happen um, So we've got this display energy coming up when this happens. This update good guy needs to occur when the collision happens. So you need to go to your collide with and expand the block. So every time the image sprite collides with a reward, it'll happen. We want it to update good guy. Okay. See, I've got it on there. I've already added it in there and I've got it here as well so th those will come up so I'm gonna pause the video and try it out here alright so when you bring up your app what you should see is as you collect it it'll go and it'll see I've got mine it went up um, basically to 60 I started at 20 went to 40, went to 60, the UN scene came up. You can do the opposite as well, so if you had a bad guy, you could add in a bad guy and it would take it down when it got hit. So it's kind of like a health meter, kind of like a, an update score, just a neat little uh, feature to have in your game, alright?